here we are doing the uh, male uh, profile. So we'll do the similar thing we did for the female profiles. We'll get to it here. Right, so starting with the head structure. Okay. Looking for where his eyes are. Pretty much right in the middle, as far as I can gauge. Checking my midline. Looks about right. Okay, I think his head's a little longer. Might be his hair more so, but we'll see. All right, let's see. Nose. A little higher than halfway between the eye and the chin. That's about halfway, so a little higher. I think. <laughs> Looks, let me see. It's almost dead even. Okay, let's uh, start roughing things out and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna get his eye kind of in place there. And sometimes I think I've gotta just get something down there and then try and make adjustments, you know, and then it's hard to see if you don't have something down. Okay, so looking at his, the distance between his eye and this little indent, up the nose here and then the forehead okay so nose I feel like it's longer and now looking at where his mouth sits so it starts coming out like even with the brow and then comes out a little bit his mouth right there top lip just a little further out Almost straight back to the neck. All right, so I'm gonna kind of tweak things now here a little bit. I think the nose comes out just a little bit more. So let me try and place more things here before I get to details. Uh, eyebrow. Not a big arch or anything, just pretty straight across. Looking for the ear, kind of right around the eye here. To the nose. And the ear placement is kind of always tricky for me. It's, if I look at halfway between the front of the head and the back of the head, it's on the back half. Okay, I'm just kind of roughing out the hairline now. This hair comes down here and wraps around. all flowing forward and then down from this point here okay Just 
picking out little parts to work on here. His lips. neck and kind of smaller eyes like uh, more squinty okay Something that kind of looks like him. Cheekbone here. I have to shade that in. All right, I'm going to switch to my darker pencil. I'm knocking this back a little bit. See his eyelash, but I'm not convinced I want to draw it too much. Maybe just a little something. Okay, a little fold there above his eye. And then a little point here where the uh, lower eyelid comes in and starts to come back out again. You get a little uh, shading difference there. Let's see. Forehead, round out, and the hair comes a little lower than I even drew it, right there-ish. Okay, going down the nose, pretty straight until we get to the end here, and then it kind of kicks out a little bit, the tip of the nose. Then around right into the top lip. Okay, this little uh, corner of the mouth here adds a lot, I think. It really can help change the expression to pleasant or neutral. Without it, it can look, uh, I don't know, people look sometimes a little mad or have a different expression than I intend to have, intend to make them look like they have. Okay, around the chin, chin kind of almost went forward a little bit here after it goes in, which I didn't make it go in. Ooh, almost had a pencil fumble there. That was close. Okay, I'm looking at his lip. I'm adjusting things because lower lip is a little bit bigger. And then it comes in at a pretty steep angle before we get the chin kind of coming out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw above that, obviously. And let's see, neck. Um, ear, I guess. Nah, I'll do hair first. Okay, and the hair is coming forward, so it's pretty low over here. Get that eyebrow. Okay, so it starts a little lower and comes up slightly. A little thicker 
the inside here. And then pretty much just fades off right about where the eye ends there. I was gonna go here, but I'm going back to nose. Okay, nostril. And then the outside of the nostril. I almost made that too big. Okay, back to my hair. At the ear now, my favorite thing to draw ever, ears. Actually, I don't mind them so much because it's hard to mess them up because once again, as long as it looks kind of like an ear, it's gonna be an ear. You could draw a completely different kind of ear on this guy in terms of like the shape and everything and I think and if you drew the rest of it that looked like him, I think people won't even notice. As long as it looked like an ear. But I'm trying to draw what I see here. Curl. The knob. The notch. The other knobby thing. And around into my Y-shaped bump thing. Right there. As excited as I can make the ear. All right. Time for some value, but I think I'll do the hair first since I've actually thought about it ahead of time. And just looking for these little clumps here. Lots of little clumps on the top. Okay, so now looking for the darkest values, which seem to be in the back of his uh, head here and top of the neck, where the hair gets the darkest. And we have a little bit of detail in there. As we go up, it's still trying to keep it dark. Okay, so pretty dark around uh, the side of the head here. Not a lot of detail. And always remember to add those dark values, which will help your drawing stand out. Okay. dark patches in there. So turn it. Don't forget to turn your paper. I don't turn it as much as I normally would because I'm trying to keep it in frame for the camera. But sometimes I just have to. And it's just about whatever kind of pencil stroke feels more comfortable to you. Yeah, my, my hand likes to do curves like this, right? Not like this. That's awkward. Just have more control. All right. So filling in these little clumps. Adding 
and some dark values to come out of them and into them. And keeping it relatively lighter than on the top than on the bottom down here. So it looks like it's catching a little more light. All right, let's get some quick value on the face here. So he's got a uh, shadow coming down from the ear here. And the darkest area is right under the chin. Right there. Uh, reflected light here, lighting up this side of the uh, that muscle on the neck. It comes up like that. You can see a shadow from the ear coming down. Pretty dark as well. Pretty dark inside the ear as well. out of this here so looking for that spot right there on the cheekbone the shadow comes down and around okay and the shadow is coming all the way down his face there here to enter into the jaw under the eye actually under the hair as well right if the light source is right above you're coming from enough above it's gonna the hair is even gonna cast a shadow right and then the inside of the eye here. All right, to the nose, under the nose. And let's see, look for my white areas. Mouth. get too fancy with it but the uh, shading was so strong the shadows were so strong in this not that I'm doing it that fancy or anything but it's just uh, it's a lot going on you know what I'm saying all right yeah I think we can call that one done and move on to the next one as I darken things up and am not done.